Welcome to ARW. I'm Harold, and you, right over there, you haven't subscribed, and you've been watching a lot. Click the subscriber button and the little bell, okay? Anyway, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at a hot shot oven and uh, do the burnout on it and, and get it ready to go, and then we're going to play with melting some stuff in it just because it can. I, I sent a little day new fur, uh, furnace back to uh, to uh, <laughs> Banggood, and they gave me my money back on it, and I, I'm pretty happy about that. They said they was going to compensate me for the shipping, but they hadn't done that yet, so we'll see. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at what we've got. All right. Oh, just one more thing. I got this sticker. I think I might have had it a couple of weeks. It's my little mule. Uh, it's a uh, YouTube channel, and uh, the fellow running that channel would like y'all to come over there and take a look at his stuff. He's got some interesting things going there, and uh, I'll, if I don't forget, I'll put a link down below the video. Who knows? I might forget, but I'll try. All right. Mr. Greg Cup is the uh, proprietor, machinist, janitor, manager, and all that on this particular channel. And he's up there in Ohio, pretty close to uh, uh, James Clow. I think they're both in Ohio. Ohio, Idaho, I get them mixed up. But they're on the same end of the country. You guys go over to his channel and give him a try. Now then, according to the instructions that came with it, it's got the burnout program already in the little controller over there. And this thing is programmable. You can put in whatever program you want, and it'll already be there the next time you want to use it. You can make it heat in little steps, make it hold for a long time, make it come back down. This is what I should have got in the first place. And if you would like to have one, you, this stands in Kowski over at Shadon HKW channel he'll sell you one okay now this is somewhat impressive I turned this one on just plugged him in and turned him on and it knows what the room temperature is there you go huh know what 300 and something degrees like the other little furnace showed alright so the, the program in this thing is the burnout or you know the clean the, the shipping stuff and hand print stuff out of there it started out with a set point of 400 and when it got a little above 400 it changed the set point to 800 Stan already set up the burnout program and uh, I guess that's what you call it burnout it's getting rid of all the you know things in there that would vaporize off that the one first time you use it and it stinks a little bit kind of like chemicals that are hot <laughs> but it's coming right on up so I think we're going to be a-okay right now set point 800 I'll bring you guys back once we get a little well we'll just let this thing run and then I'll do it high speed didn't pay a lot of attention to uh, the instructions about the uh, little bake out procedure here it's going to take a matter of a few hours to uh, <laughs> to go up these temperatures and come back down because I think it's said something about 1800 degrees but it's an hour at one thing and an hour at another and so on so we're not going to sit here and look at it all that time but boy it, it does smell pretty bad in here right now uh, this came in just just a few minutes ago that little crucible right there and it'll fit right inside this oven just right all I need to do is make me a set of tongs to, or buy a set of tongs or 
obtain a set of tongs somewhere that I can pick it up with. I'll, uh, I'll look around in here and see what I've got that looks like I could make tongs out of it. At least I've seen some that are small, so i got some models to go by. Now it's 1600 degrees inside, and I put my hand up there and it feels just about body temperature or less, you know, maybe right about body temperature. That's that's well insulated for a fact. I know I'm going to like this little guy. I uh, foolishly thought I was going to use it a little bit today for something, but I can see I need to let this get through and come back tomorrow. And tomorrow we will uh, we'll melt some metal in it. Okay, here we are. It's a new day. The oven has cooled down from its you know initial burnout. And I didn't mention to you guys that I had put this little guy in there because I figured at 1800 degrees we'd see some melting on this stuff. And this is 22 caliber brass that I've got here and I think I think it's obviously gonna to have to go hotter than 1800 but it it didn't melt so it must be some tough stuff but what we're gonna to do today I've got this little crucible that just came in yesterday I got aluminum scrap in it and we're gonna crank it up and see uh, see if how it does, and I'll I'll let it cool down enough to. Well, I won't either. I'll have to tell you out while it's hot. But anyway, we'll see if it melts that stuff okay. Hope to turn on the power, and I'm not an expert on this, so I'll probably do a lot of things wrong here. Okay. But I'm going to set it for, I guess, uh, about 1300, I would guess. Uh, so, you want to come over. Uh, you got to hold it down to program it. I set it for 1901 and uh, the one that was called I just sort of overran 1900 uh, but anyway I'm going to see if this will melt that 22 uh, long rifle brass this is 100 degrees hotter than it was last time so we'll see I'm going to leave it that away about 10 minutes and, and then we'll set it for a low set point and will be done with it, at least for this particular experiment. I decided to go on up to 1950. Uh, the maximum is 2000, so I'll run it on that for the 10 minutes. Just to be darn sure I get an idea as to what it really can do on some brass. Okay, I've got it uh, set for 69 degrees. I'll go to supper. I'll come back and see if we're down close to that. And if we are, then we'll see did it melt the copper or didn't it. Well, there's all the brass that was in there. And apparently, I'm not going to melt that stuff because it has a much higher melting point than what I should go to. Wow. Oh, well, there you go. Just as soon as I get something I can use to lift that out, I'll use it in there. And I know it'll melt all that. It's all aluminum. And uh, and aluminum shell cases. So, I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this Hot Shot 360. I think... Uh, Stands fixed me up really good here. And now I can mess with lost PLA and lost foam and whatever in here 
during the winter or during the summer when it's raining. Anytime I can't work outside, I can work in here with some hot stuff. Let's see what Bubba's doing, or maybe one of the other fellas. Well, it seems like Boudreaux and Thibodeau were taking an air trip, you know, on a plane there to go to Canada for a Boudin making conference. And uh, so after they'd been in air a while, the captain came on the, on the speaker and says, uh, Folks, he says, one of our engines has failed, so it'll, it'll take us an hour longer to make it to Canada. He said, but don't worry, we, you know, we got two more engines left. So they fly along a while. After a while, the captain comes back on there and says, well, folks, he says, we lost one of our other engines, so we'll be three hours late getting into Canada. But don't worry, you know, we still got one engine left. So Thibodeau turns around and looks at Boudreaux and he says, you know me, I, I, I got to tell you, he says, uh, if we lose one more engine, we're going to be up here all day.